What is good art? There are multiple art forms, from painting to music, from film to literature, and even more. However, art truly does what it's meant to do, shares very similar aspects. The main goal is to always deliver a message. Despite the spectacle, the goal is usually to transform an idea into a representation of itself in order to make the viewer aware while incorporating it in a different medium. This might be an issue that requires social awareness, or perhaps just an artist trying to expose his mind and how he sees the world. Therefore, you then have works like Guernica by Picasso that truly encapsulate the human being's capacity for violence and war and the horror that this brings. You have this beautiful painting that in his peculiar style, Picasso completely pictures human violence. It, he pictures what war truly is. And I must say that despite being incredibly beautiful, it's also hard to, to see. Opposite to this, you also have works like Starry Night by Van Gogh that, like most of his works, depicts how he saw the world, and in this case, the night sky, through his window, as the colors blend together in a harmonial dance that is unique to the artist's vision. Art is creative. It pushes boundaries of its format in the pursuit of the spectacle and messaging. Artists often push themselves to be different, to distinguish themselves from the crowd by creating a style that is only their own. A great example of this is that of Wes Anderson, who progressively shaped his style through his vision. In his movie, The Grand Budapest Hotel, the director is confident enough to use the medium to its full extent, experimenting with not only the mise-en-scene, color and characters, but also with the aspect ratio and the setting in a way that truly distances himself from the crowd, therefore creating a style that almost seems dreamlike, something that is so in unique to him that you can clearly recognize any film that's his. Additionally, you have the medium of animation, which is filled with possibilities. It is able to bring these incredible worlds from the minds of artists into reality. The only boundary is imagination. Animation can be whatever you want because you have you have all the colors, you have all the shapes, you have all the possibilities. There is nothing to stop you. Beyond being creative, art pushes paradigms. Constructed either by society or by previous artists, it always seeks to evolve and innovate on what was before. We can take for example the artist known as Joji, who in his style has basically broken the music genres that are usually attributed to artists. So much so that every day a new supposed music genre seems to appear from out of nothing. However, this is only a feeble attempt to label the mastery of weaving in genres and styles that this artist, like many others, have been able to do. At last, art is not simple. Even the simplest and minimalistic of art is not simple or easy. There is no doubt that anyone can write a book on Wattpad and call it theirs. But to truly create characters that feel alive and that evolve with the narrative, characters whose goals shift as they are faced with new situations, and that act ultimately human despite the situation they might be in, that is what truly makes a good book, and what makes literature art. Random lines in a paper are not art if this is not an artist's vision, if this is not orchestrated for a reason. Anyone can find a thousand and one reasons why the dot in the white paper is an incredible piece, but if you cannot move an audience, and you cannot bring something unique and well thought, then the dot is nothing more than a dot. Anyone can be an artist, but this is what art encapsulates. To put an idea on a medium and to let it motivate, interact, entertain, and change people who come in contact with it. Art is at the base of a society who needs the spectacle to breathe the new air into the world we live in, and who needs the message to evolve and grow as a society.
art is beautiful. Art is powerful. <laughs> and art is important. <laughs>